Hey guys, and welcome back our YouTube fishing family to AFNS Outdoors. I'm Justin Lewis and welcome to Upper Red Lake, Minnesota. This is a body of water that I've wanted to fish for a long time and after seeing all of the social media posts about the very early ice and the walleye bite up here, I decided that it was worth the eight and a half hour drive, packed everything up, drove up here for a really just a real quick one day session of fishing because I have to drive back in the morning. But I'm hoping that we are gonna get on a good bite today. So if you guys can look around, I'm about roughly a mile out. We came out this morning out of JR's Corner Access, stopped into the bar this morning, talked to the guys inside, they were very knowledgeable, shared with us where the safe ice was, where we should be looking at fishing, and um, thankfully enough, we ran into someone that was actually willing to tow us out here this morning, so I didn't even have to walk the whole way, um, because as you guys know, I pull this bad boy, so. Definitely looking forward to getting out the brand new shack. We just got it set up. We are gonna start fishing out this morning. You guys might be thinking, well, the sun's up. Why are you just now starting? And that is really because I was unfamiliar with this body of water. So I wasn't familiar with JR's access um, or how the roads were or anything else. So I wanted to make sure that that sun was up and that I knew where I was headed, that it was safe prior to me coming out here for the first time. So we're starting now. It's about nine o'clock in the morning. We're gonna climb inside the tent and hopefully we are gonna find some nice upper Red Lake walleye for you guys on today's show. As always, thank you guys for tuning in. I'm Justin Lewis and this is AFNS Outdoors. <laughs> All right. We are. There we go, guys. Look at that. First upper Red Lake walleye. Ooh, he's got it too. <laughs> Check that out. Gold, little red, some black. Gosh dang. Hang on, buddy. Ow. No, don't bite down. No, you're supposed to let go. There we go. <laughs> Just like that, guys. Number one. And we are gonna keep them because I want a little fish for dinner. So we're gonna bring a few home today. That's number one. I've been sitting over here in this whole plan with this giant pike that keeps swimming by. There he is, there he is. Oh, he ate it, he ate it, he ate it, he ate it. He ate it, give him line, give him line. And I got him to eat it once, but I haven't seen him come back for it, so. All right, guys, we have what I think is a very nice walleye on. Get this out of the way. I can see him. Come here, come here baby girl. Whoops. <laughs> Maybe I should turn that heater off for a second. <laughs> Just splashed a ton of water on the heater. But look at that. Oh yeah. That. That is a nice red lake walleye. Look at that, he just engulfed that jig. There we go, guys, look at that. Let's see how long it is. This one's 19. That is a nice upper Red Lake walleye, guys. So they redid the regs this year. You can have three unders and one over 17, so I'm gonna call this my over 17. He's gonna go home, make a tasty dinner. He did not hesitate though. He came up and absolutely smashed that jig. Setup today is pretty standard. We've got a dead stick on this side in a hole with a bobber. Fishing at a depth of about 12 feet. I've got the minnow just off the bottom about a foot. 
It's got a piece of split shot on there and it does come up to a bobber. This side, we are jigging. And right now I'm jigging little gold and black. It's got a red eye, red hook, um, rattle spoon. Um, we're right outside where the break is, so those of you that are familiar with Upper Red Lake, it is relatively flat. It is kind of just a giant basin. Um, there's a little bit of structure, but we're fishing just on a break where it goes from about that 14 foot to 12 foot to 10 foot range. We'll probably be in this one spot all day. I don't know that moving around all that much is gonna make a huge difference for us today. As always, we do appreciate you guys watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you do, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button. We have new videos out every single Thursday, 6 p.m. Central, right here on AFNS Outdoors. Oh, missed him. Dang it. I don't know what was over here. I think it was a pike. right in front of the camera guys we were I was having some lunch shoot he might be tied up in that line too he is having some lunch move the bobber he's tied up in both lines oh now he's stuck in the hole uh-oh We're in a predicament. It's 21 inches of ice here, guys. All right. He's literally stuck. Oh, not stuck anymore. He was stuck sideways in the hole. Come on, reel down. Get your head up here. Head up. All right. I knew that was gonna happen. I was cleaning up from lunch, getting everything set up over here again. I was like, well, I'm just gonna move the bobber over. Yep. And that's what happens. End up with a little bit of a mess. Nice. Upper Red Lake Walleye. I just turned the flasher on, and this guy took this bobber down. And the bobber from this hole is now in that hole, so I <laughs> think we're going to have a little bit of a mess to pick up, but another nice walleye. I can get a little measurement for you guys. Just show you. This is pretty average for what I've been seeing. This guy's just touches 16. This might be a big one, guys. Oh, nice fish. Nice fish. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, switching cameras, but look at that. Another nice fat. Upper Red Lake Walleye. Look at that jig right in the corner. Absolutely perfect. Perfect. Another perfect walleye. Absolutely outstanding. Awesome, guys. Absolutely awesome. Upper Red Lake. Never been out here on my own. Coming out of JR's corner gave us a lot of advice, pointed us in the right direction, 
and the fish are here guys so if you guys are thinking about making the trip up definitely make the trip up we drove eight and a half hours for this and it was worth every single minute whatever it is oh it's a freaking birch <laughs> uh, this was the dead stick rod i just stuck the camera between my legs And it's a birch. Oh my gosh. Look at that, guys. Well, that'll go good with that walleye I just caught. <laughs> nice perch. Look at it compared to that walleye. That's a nice size perch. Well, we're gonna consider that a bonus fish because <laughs> we are fishing for him. And. I was trying to get my line untangled. This rod started going down and big old yellow birch came up. <laughs> it's so funny too, he came unhooked right at right at the hole, had to scoop him out. He's been he's been grabbed by a pike or a muskie a couple times. <laughs> Bonus fish! <laughs> Got another one. All right guys, a little more information for you. It's a nice one. So I, <laughs> kind of shot our closer like we normally do. Earlier when the sun was up. I shot our closing scene here that you guys probably haven't seen yet. Let's do a time check. It's 518. The sun has gone down. These walleye are running through. This is another nice walleye. This one is 16 and a half. 16 and a half inch walleye. We've already limited out. These guys are all going back. But ever since that sun has gone down, these guys have turned on. Bite is hot right now, a little after five o'clock. There you go, buddy. See ya. Get down there, go. All right. Oh, yeah. They're munching right now, guys. That's like, I don't know, fifth fish since the sun has gone down, probably at least, so. I'm gonna keep at it for a little bit until it kind of stops, I guess. It's gonna be cold and dark when I walk in, but you know, you gotta fish when the fish are biting, so that's right now. Well guys, it's kind of crazy to think that a week ago we were headed up here, got about halfway, and then had to turn around and go back because of unsafe ice conditions. Today, we were on 21 inches of ice, which is a lot. So, fishing's still pretty slow in the morning. I think right now there's a very early morning bite that's going on, which is causing the bite to be pretty slow in the morning, but it does pick up in the afternoon. So, if you guys are thinking about making the trip up to Red, I highly recommend it. This is the first time I've ever been up here. Stop into JR's Corner Access, talk to the guys at the bar. They will put you on the spot, whether you're walking, whether you have a wheeler side by side, whatever it is, you guys will be in good shape going out of this access. So I think next week um, they're gonna be allowing trucks and stuff up. Hopefully before the season is over, we will get back up here. I keep hearing about some of these big crappie that Red Lake holds. Sounds like they're kind of hard to find sometimes, but they said that when you do find them, they are absolute giants. So again, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It was definitely worth the drive up here for us. The Thermal X did its job. Absolutely love this new ice shack. Not a ton of people out today. It's pretty quiet, so definitely enjoyed our time out here. Caught some nice walleyes, caught our unders, caught our overs, caught a yellow perch is kind of a bonus fish, so had a great time. As always, if you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure you hit that like button. If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button. We have new videos out every single Thursday. I'm Justin Lewis. Until next time, guys, take care.